Welcome everyone for my weekly um, analysis for the opportunities for the upcoming week. Um, as you may know, I often trade Adidas. Uh, I know a lot about this stock. I trade it uh, a lot of times. I go in, I go out. Um, in that way, we are. I've been looking at Adidas for quite some time now, um, because uh, I, I covered my long positions earlier. Earnings came out were pretty strong, and uh, this move, I, I was not in not yet because I don't gamble so I don't trade the news I don't trade earnings I just trade technicals so the thing I'm watching for now is a pullback on Adidas it's it, it has it has pulled back if we switch to the four hour chart you can see it even better um, we had a spike around 185 and we have touched the 175 so that's a 10 point correction um which would have been nice to to re-enter i would have liked to see some more correction more potential to the downside um looking at these patterns this not, does not give me a signal yet but if these highs get broken and price starts starts moving maybe i will enter and uh, ride this one back up to the 185 or beyond so I will be watching this one closely, that's the first opportunity for next week. If price starts to get momentum back to the upside, I will take it. If it goes back um, back down again, then maybe I will... Uh, I would like that, because then we have a better move, and um, this low obviously did not get broken, <coughs> so we are still, uh, still on an up move. This inner trend line is something else to watch. So. It's not, not the ideal opportunity, but since I trade Adidas a lot, I will uh, I will be watching this closely. Let's switch to the one hour chart. You can see it pretty good that we need to have a break of this level <coughs> to really say, uh, get, get, get a signal to go long again. If this level holds and we see another push lower, let's, uh, let's see where we can have an even better entry. Um, I think it was beginning of March I had um, same setup I went into Adidas uh, with a move of 10 points I put in five lots and I started off uh, the month with 5k just from this trade so watching this one closely next one Volkswagen um, as you may know let's go to the daily this one has been in a move quite some time I have been pointing this one out for a couple of weeks if the trend line breaks if the trend line breaks if the trend line breaks well it just uh, does not happen uh, matter of fact price made this low so it was almost a 100% um, FIP correction this was my first FIP I pu pu uh, put on um, so when we extend this so prices uh, there there is still room for another push lower that everything's possible uh, in this in this move um, we really need a break, let me point it out, of this of this trend line because as long as that doesn't happen uh, we are not having a good signal to buy so watching the trend line as well and looking at this, uh, this move lower let me put in one more indicator to give us some more information this one the relative strength index let's look for a possible divergence this move lower gave us this low then the second push uh, didn't it's, I think we can see it better on the on the four hour chart we got two lows in here the first one showed us this picture why do we have two relative strength indexes I don't know one is enough um, <coughs> so yes we are already seeing divergence so this is a very clear setup better than we saw on Adidas this very clear divergence we got a 1 2 also this pin bar this bullish pin bar price came down here once again moved away pretty pretty convincing showing us this pin bar and this uh, green body then the second bar gave us a higher high the third bar a higher high fourth fifth even sixth gave us a higher high <coughs> but also over here we see a bearish pin bar <coughs> because price bounces off this trend line and 
comes lower once again. So, <coughs> matter of fact, here we see a bearish pen bar again, trying to get through price. It didn't happen. So um, this is a very interesting place to be watching. Will we see another low? <coughs> uh, I do not think so. I think looking at this divergent, looking at this price action, I think it's finally time to see a break of this trend line. And I believe when we see a break finally, then we have a really uh, this is this is a classic reversal. I think on this uh, on this stock. So Volkswagen is on the top of my list. Next, Alibaba, impressive company, moves pretty clearly. Looks like it's uh, finding a new range for some reason. Um, so when we extend this level, it looks like we have left this range and we're starting to see uh, another move in this range. So <coughs> every entry around this previous resistance now support area would be a great place. Um, I'm going to remove this one for now. So <coughs> I, 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 you know, probably by watching my videos how I look at this, I uh, think I would be trading it like this. I think this was be will be a nice area for me to go long, and I think I can go long pretty big and have this move. I think it's a five point move, so that's pretty pretty nice if you put in a one 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 lot and you make this move. You got um, you got five hundred euros, so that would be would be great. Of course, if you put in two lots, you get a thousand, etc. So, to me, this is um, this is a nice place to enter this market and be looking for a nice move. Alibaba, Nvidia is also um, had a huge correction and is starting to move back up again. <coughs> of course, pretty obvious. This is a very strong support level right now, resistance level. I'm sorry. Um, so let's see what happens over here. We also have this trend line to be watching. So if this resistance gets broken, we have a nice move, uh, some nice potential back up. A lot of sto stock opportunities. This one is already in play, of course. This is acting out as a swing trade from now on. <coughs> and then last, no, it's not last, but not least, this is um, Shopify. I pointed out every time, classic swing trading opportunity. Touch these touches of these trend lines. Every time it happens, I enter. I entered last Friday on my first my first uh, positions. Um, of course, this level will be interesting to watch. Previous resistance now acted as support. See this pin bar over here. So um, maybe we see another push lower, another another test of this. Um, trend line as long as it holds I'm adding longs and I will ride it all the way back up uh, just past the previous previous highs so that will be around 174 75 some one I mean 74 75 so uh, another nice seven or eight points are in for this move um, that's for Shopify and then one more that's finally ready to start moving pointed out earlier as you can see uh, certain price action lows and highs had to hold well things didn't hold and price moved back lower this trend line is showing us that price is actually right now struggling with the uh, with that trend line maybe we even put it like this we are just at the trend line as we speak <coughs> this is a longer term trend line let's see if that trend line has any meaning when we reroute it it doesn't so I, I always leave these trend lines in why because <coughs> you'll see that if price uh, breaks the descending trend trend line um, there it, and it starts moving in this direction it will find resistance for a couple of times when it touches this trend line <coughs> but we'll see what happens. Uh, how's the what is the RSI showing us on the four hour chart? The RSI is showing us mm, a little bit. I'm not really 
feeling this divergence it's not really convincing this was this was a low then we see prices moving up a little bit so momentum to the downside is 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 shifting a little bit as you can see this looks a lot like Volkswagen um, this trend line needs to be broken to uh, to really see a move <coughs> but the lower low we we really need to see another low to, to get confirmation on price action that this one will continue to move lower on the other way around we w we need to see a break of this area as well as the trend line I think <coughs> to be calling it a higher high but I think this has potential to uh, to happen in the next week and if it does we have a move of let's see 74 well, we have another ton 10 point move so this one in combination with uh, Volkswagen for me um, the way I trade it can 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 bring me two times um, 5,000 euros so I have another 10k just like I had last month which would be great and just two two moves but once you get in once once the price shows you that that the time is right uh, make sure you uh, you enter of course but then the hard part comes sit and wait <laughs> sit and wait and just let it ride because there's no reason to be leaving this one anytime soon once this all happens so IBM I think the time is right because we also see that the, the decline is starting to lose momentum when we just look at the price action I'm very uh, I'm very uh, convinced or I'm very curious what will happen with IBM then we also go into Forex for you guys as I showed you yesterday the dollar uh, is re gaining some momentum it's picking up some momentum uh, after the sharp decline so this one is actually uh, turn been turning around um, this is a pretty strong move to the upside so the thing I would be waiting for is a correction to the downside first um, and when we do I want to see uh, that that's the area where I want to re-enter from there on out um, we will see uh, probably some new uh, some new entries so the thing that will happen probably is that we will see um, a bounce off of a certain trend line as price in this case often does we'll probably see another channel to trade this one so we'll we'll see what happens um, but I'm definitely watching this um, Australia New Zealand is an interesting one to me as well because I think we were seeing a head and shoulders this pin bar shows us that price does not want to go there um, with a also pretty strong body that covers this previous candle so this is a sign that price will um, will be going lower probably if it does then we have a shoulder ahead and another shoulder and we can see another push lower on this one now that I point that out I also see a trend line that needs to be broken but you get the point um, I think I think we can see a another push around the previous um, supply zone which which now will be a demand zone so let's extend this one to get a clear picture um, once it gets here I think some a potential bounce is possible and price could move higher again uh, but for now, uh, this 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 move, I, I'm ex expecting this to go a little a little lower, and then uh, I think there are a lot of buyers in this in this area. So watch this one closely. I don't see if if you want to short this one, that's 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 it's possible. But um, let's see let's see what happens. Need more information on that one. The thing I'm not gonna go into too much forex this week because I don't see that much of an opportunity but the thing I do see on this chart is the euro swiss franc I've been trading this for two weeks now because it's so strongly in a range that I I entered long and entered short just been ar around these support and resistance areas um, we see this strong bar to the downside with with a with an attempt to uh, go back to the upside and then price fell back down <coughs> so we have a small some kind of a doji around here, some indecision in this candle. This is the, the week's end, so probably when tonight on Sunday the Asian session is open, um, I think the support will will break actually. 
um, if it does then we are immediately going into a new channel so um, we'll be looking for the same strategy of range trading within the new channel um, I, I'm shorting around resistance and I'm buying I'm, I'm going along around support I like I, I like this setup why because this is not a, a, a market that moves pretty uh, pretty aggressively as, as we've seen in the for example the Australian dollar US dollar we saw the price uh, moved pretty aggressively to the upside to the downside and you know when the dollar gets strong price drops when the, when the dollar uh, w when the dollar gets weak price drops then we have some momentum in the Australian dollar and price starts moving again and you know a lot happens which is great which is great because you can have uh, great moves great waves to, to, to trade and make a lot of money but the thing I like about these kinds of range trades is that I I, I, I always overlook what's going on um, of course there is something happening I mean this is uh, October 2016 so price has been going lower um, but then again there were uh, the, the, the overall trend looks to be a downtrend that's 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 okay <coughs> so we have very clear a clear channel so uh, there is more potential to the downside of course um, but let's see what happens this is this is a range from uh, 1075 until 106 a little below 3 so this is um, you know when, you, when you're wrong in a trade you don't have to uh, take a big loss right away it's very clear where to get in where to get out um, <coughs> so next week just to point it out I'll be trading if, if this uh, support holds I'll be trading it going long taking my profits around here <coughs> then again going short taking my profits around here because we are in this range also this trend line will help us uh, get some more resistance ju not just this this horizontal line if price breaks tonight and we will see price move down lower I think the first thing we will see is some um, some resistance over there and I will be trading it within <coughs> this range if this resistance breaks same story you know we are uh, we're in a nice move I think so that's it for this week um, check out my Instagram every day I, I, I try to keep posting updating you guys on the setups I give you on Sunday and um, let's see what happens happy trading